Hello and welcome to a game called Shenmue. I am the non-professional. This game has been a large part of my childhood. Uh, the quality won't be the best, I know, but you'll just have to make do, unfortunately. Uh, I won't talk in the cutscenes because it's a fucking... It's more of an experience than it is a game. Uh, this is going to be my first full playthrough, and here we go. I spent fucking hours trying to get this to run, not perfectly, but without any high encoding errors, and the only way I could do it was to downgrade the quality and do all sorts of shit nonsense that I had no idea what I was fucking with. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and hopefully it all runs smoothly, fine and dandy, etc. If it doesn't, then fuck, you know? <laughs> uh, this should be about 40 minutes each episode. It's very slow paced, I'll say that just now. It's very slow paced to start with. Son, uh, uh, I'm all right, but Hazuki Sensei, uh, my father. It don't matter, actually. I'll tell you after. I'll tell you after. Sorry. Father! Stay back, Mule. For the last time, where is the mirror? I've no intention of telling you. Thank you. 
Lindy Sala, we have it. be a few bugs here and there, but if you can look past it, it's a really good game. It's only it's only like buggy because it's on PC and it's not supposed to be on PC. But the music, oh, the music, is, the music is what makes a game. Like, and this is, it don't get any better than this, you know. For Hazuki Sensei. I think this is the only major cutscene in the game, actually. But shit, probably should have had spoilers there. Oh well. I haven't given away any of the plot. Now on to the exploration, which to this day is unparalleled, like no game has come close, has come anywhere close to the level of, of uh, exploration in this game. They've got the phone book, or the notepad, and it's got all the details written down. Basically, obviously his dad's been killed, and you've got to track down the guy who killed him. But the, the exploration, oh my god, you want to open that cupboard drawer? You can open that drawer, there's nothing in it. But you can open it, that's what I'm saying. You can ch open each and every one of these. You want to check if, what clothes he's got? Guess what? You can do that. Uh, you know, you can't put them on, but the exploration is there. If you want to open those doors at the sides, you can do that. It's empty, but, you know, you can turn the lamp on in case you want to waste electricity. You can uh, pick up the... Actually, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get the tape recorder, or cassette player. Oh, cassette players, I remember those. Actually, I had one when I was younger, and they were the... They were the shit. Oh, fuck it. Turn around. Because uh, you can buy, like, tapes at the shops, and... It's, it's a whole, this is what I mean, it's not a game, it's an experience. 
And I think that's the only major cutscene in the whole game. Hopefully, it, we shouldn't get any issues. Or any major ones. Something might kick off for like a few seconds, but you, you won't miss any major plot details, trust me. As I say, progression is going to be very slow. In like the first, <coughs> in in this part, progression will be slow. But once when it get where, well, eh? once it gets rolling, it gets fucking rolling. But the things that make a game a good game, in my opinion, is the characters, the story, the music, and the ambience. It's it's fucking unparalleled. I've never, no other game I've played has lived up to it, and hopefully no other game will. Dear son, you should still be resting. Uh, I'm fine, really. And you? Are you alright? <sighs> yes, but I must keep busy, otherwise I'll get depressed. I understand. But you needn't work too hard. <sighs> yes. Oh, by the way, I have this for you. This is for today. From tomorrow, I'll leave it on top of the shoe cabinet every day. Do you know where Fuxan is? Fukara-san? I believe he's in the dojo. Really? Thanks. Right, seriously, I cannot rec- If you have a Dreamcast, I cannot recommend this game enough. This, this is- Oh, this- I fucking love this game! I absolutely love it. Now that's written that down, I've got to go to the dojo and ask Fukusan. Oh, his name. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, you can also run as well. Uh, I don't know if my computer can handle it. Uh, we'll try and find out. Eh, not too bad, actually. Your son, is everything okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. I want to ask you about that man. Oh, that man. Uh, the man called Landy. What did he talk with my father about? Landy demanded the mirror, and then they threw me out of the dojo. The black suits catch the names. I don't know. They came out of nowhere. I see. Thanks, Fukusan. If you remember anything at all, be sure to tell me. Ryo-san! Why? What you gonna do? What you gonna do, brother? Sorry. Mm, I couldn't resist. Ryo-san! Where are you going? You're not going after them! Please, don't! Look what they did to Hazuki-sensei! They killed my father. Right in front of me. I will have my revenge. I need to do this for my father. But the fucking music. Oh, the music is unparalleled. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ask around to see if any of men wearing black that day. Tell you what, we'll, we'll trigger a flashback. And I'm not going to lie, seeing this is what made me like the game even more. Or what, have I arrived at this one too early? I've arrived at this too early. No, I haven't. I just wasn't close enough. Yeah, I've got something in my eye. A fucking eyelash. Right, okay. Texture errors. <laughs> um, the yellow should take up the whole screen. But, uh... <laughs> since it doesn't, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Keep your balance. That's right. Hey! <laughs> now listen. Tighten up your abdomen. As I said, there will be a few Straighten bugs up. here and there. Find your center of the balance. Yes, like that. Hey! 
Yes. Good. Anywho, uh, that yellow filter was supposed to take up the whole screen, but, uh, mm, yeah. I mean, see, we're almost 20 minutes in and hardly anything's happened, but it's gear, but it's it's build up, you know? It's it's like plot build up, and that's that's what I mean. I, I like slow pacing if it's a good story, and the, this story is one of the best I've played. You can converse with any NPC. I could go up and talk to these children if I wanted, I could press the A button, but I don't want to because it just blocks the story and slows it down. And we want to get it rolling, don't we? See, I could cut away and do edits, but I don't want to because this isn't a game. As I said, this is a fucking experience. You need to experience hey, the whole Joe. Hi, Megumi. Uh, uh, you got a kitten in there? You promise not to tell my mommy? I kind of had to lower the FPS as well because it. Kept sure. Going. It did. did okay. You know. Is this your kitten? This kitty, see? She's all alone. All alone? Yep. See, the other day, when it rained, a car ran over her mommy. <coughs> My big sister saw it. She said it was a big black car. A black car? Yeah, and she said it was really scary. And then me and sis, we buried the mommy cat. And so now, I can be the kitty's mommy! But, mommy says we can't keep the kitten at home. So you're going to keep her here? Yeah, everybody's helping out too. Like Kota, Yasuo, and Kayo. I see. Good. Think she's hungry? Hmm. Wait a second. Okay. You probably wouldn't have been able to see that because I, I've had to lower the quality quite a bit. But there's food on here in case you can't know. Uh, we'll choose dried fish. Multiple choices as well in this game. I fucking love it. I love it so much. Do this, so it's easier to eat. Wow, she's eating! She's so tiny, but already an orphan. It's so sad! Yamagishi-san almost got ran over too! Yamagishi-san? Yeah, the car was going so fast, he got shocked and fell! And hurt his backside, so now he stays home all day. When I go to the candy shop, I always stop by to visit him. Yeah, it's close by there. Megumi, you need to be careful around cars too. Yes. Well, I've got to go now. But wait! We gotta think of a name for the kitty! Oh, well, when I think of a good one, I'll let you know. You promise? Bye-bye, dear. Bye-bye. Yeah, as I said, there's a few little, a few tiny bugs here and there, but, you know. Right, I need to visit your magishi son because he fell on his ass. Oh, fuck it. Uh, I won't say nothing, but... J Here we go. This bit seems to kill my computer every fucking time.
Excuse me. Yes. What's this name plate say? So far, so good. It says Tajima. It's fucking brilliant. Does it? I'm trying to find the Yamamoto's house, but see, my eyesight is bad, so. Don't worry. I'll look for it. Wait for me in that park up ahead. You're so kind. Thank you so much. Right here. Now because I don't want to leave her freezing in the cold, I think I'll go and find the Yamamoto houses. Right, it's uh, that one right there. I've played this game. Yamamoto. That's it. Guess I'll go get that lady. Time to find the old crone. In fact, we'll talk to Megumi's sister. Yuji. Yo. Wrong fucking person. Talk to Megumi's sister. Mayumi. Hey, Ryo. What's up? Oh. Um. I hear you. I be. Oh, thanks. Bollocks. Bollocks to you. Yes, I'm skipping the audio because this is just irrelevant. Ma'am, I found it. Did you? Thank you so very much. You may think this is stupid, but good deeds, ladies and gentlemen. Good deeds. Life lessons in a fucking video game. This is it. Life lessons. Thank you for taking the time to help me, young man. I have to go now. There are so few helpful young people these days. True words were never spoken. I think I said that right. Well, you get the point. She has she has a fucking good point. You can buy capsule toys as well. The amount of fucking money I've spent on these capsule toys. Sonic ones and Virtual Fighter ones, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to progress with the story. Right, to Yamagashi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-shi-
But I heard a rumor that Tom had an argument with the people in the car. Do you mean Tom at the hot dog truck? Yeah. Why are you asking about that car? No reason. See you later. Ryo! Who? Hmm? Cheer up, will ya? Yeah. See you. Hey, Ryo's love interest. Where's the Vending machines, you can, you can use them and you can get winning cans. I'm not gonna bother you. Sorry, but that music's really pissing me off. So happy go lucky. I'll put a brick through that window if I could. Yeah, people ride bikes up here. They, they, they care not for civilian lives. They really don't. Anyway, you made man. How's it going? Home, home boy. Almost. That's good then. How's business? Oh, good, 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 good. Anyway. Tom. Hey, Rio! Get down. That's what I say. Get down to the beat. Tell me about those men in the black car. What? Nozomi told me you had words with the guys driving the black car. No, no, I don't remember. They might have been the ones who murdered my father. Your father? Please try to think. Right, man. I'll try. Those guys in the black car, what were they like? I saw a guy wearing this weird coat. What kind of coat? It was a deep green. Maybe velvet or silk. Like something Chinese. That's Landy. What happened? They almost hit one of my customers, so I gave them a piece of my mind. But that man, he gave me this glare. I ain't never seen such a cold stare, man. Do you remember anything else? Nope. Try asking Chinese people about Chinese. Do you know any Chinese? Sorry, man. But see that travel agency over there? They get some Chinese customers. I'll ask around for you too, man. Come by later. Sure. Cheers, Tom. Tom Solandi, I see information on the Chinese people. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Who'd you go to? Uh, Mr. MJQ, man. In fact, no, fuck. We'll just go to the actual Fuck you, super happy chip. What's going down? What's going down? Oh, it's these wankers. Hey, wait a minute! Hey, Hazuki! You think you can bump into me and not even apologize? Yeah, jerk! Apologize to Enoki-san! Well, maybe I'll just beat an apology out of you! Trouble on day one, ladies and gentlemen! I don't have time for this. Get lost. That's it, your history! Yeah! That's it! Fucking love oh. this game! Damn, you're pretty tough! Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. I don't have time to play your little games. Yes, I I'm sorry! You don't mess with me again, got it? Alright, alright! Uh. Rio the Bada, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, hey, are you, are you okay? Can you get up? See now, <laughs> things have just taken quite a dark turn. Not not as dark as it's gonna get, do you? It's getting. Anyway, I'm, so, I'm amazed that something happened this day. And I didn't think it would. I thought that was tomorrow. But anyway, to the IGG, Tao San Shang. Oh, I fucking love this game. Yeah, blue screen, don't worry about it. How's that, my good sir? Tao san. Yes? Are there any other Chinese people around here? Why do you want to know about other Chinese? Uh, nothing, really. Is it something to do with what happened to your father? Yes. Oh, no. Not all Chinese people are bad. I understand that, but the only clue I have is that they were Chinese. Please, is there anything you could tell me? You say Chinese people around here? But there's quite a lot of them compared to before. We don't really know the newcomers. 
I see. Why don't you tell him about the three blades? Oh, the three blades. Three blades? What are the three blades? It literally refers to three different blades that represent three different trades. The barber, the tailor, and the cook. They all use bladed tools. The barber uses a razor. The tailor uses scissors. And the cook uses knives. Ah, I get it. Most of the Chinese who came to Japan were one of the three. It doesn't cost much to set up, so you can start the business quickly. People of the Three Blades also know each other very well. It's a good idea to ask them if you're looking for information on people from China. Who are some of the Three Blade people around here? For the barber, visit Maeda-san. For the tailor, see Itoi-san, who's making patches now. For the cook, go and ask Mampu Cook and Namen. The Three Blade people should know about other Chinese people as well. Oh, there's also another barber shop, the Liu Barber and Hair Salon. But, but Liu Sun's father is in the hospital now. His family's having a hard time. The shop's been closed recently. So. I should go and speak with Maeda-san, Itoi-san, and Mampukuken Ramen, right? Yes. I see. Thank you very much. I could listen to this music for fucking hours. I'm not good. Yes, people actually come in the shop. They have the, the businesses in this game close and open on a clock, mate. I don't know why I said mate then, I apologise. As I said, this this episode is getting slow, but now that that fight happened, that one, so things are progressing a lot quicker than I than I thought. Anyway, let's check the old book. Uh, actually, what's he doing? Is he playing golf with nothing? Yep, he's playing golf with nothing. Right, let's check the book. Uh, scissors. We'll go see Etoy because he closes first. If he hasn't closed already. He shouldn't have, because he don't, unless he's a reptile. Oh, good, yeah. Thank God for that. Itoi. Um, yes! Itoi-san, do you know about the three blades? Who told you about that, son? I heard it from Tao-san. I see, I see. That's why I'm looking for Chinese people that are members of the three blades. In that case, I suppose you could ask Liu-san. You, son? That's right. Oh. I see. But Itoi-san, how do you know about the Three Blades? Years ago, I was Chinese. Now, I'm a naturalized Japanese. In China, my name was Su Jianmen. Is that so? Thank you. See you. I should visit Liu Baba. Yes, a lot. Oh fuck it, that's my deal. We, well, we want that, but we go out the way. Fuck it, hell eh? You barber and hair where the fuck's that? I'm beating a bike on foot, Tom. Keep dancing, son, keep dancing. You long haired bitch. Oh no, he stopped. I'm <laughs> so sorry. Oh god, he's overtaken. Come on, I'll race you, I'll race you, I'll race you. Hang on, when did he get ahead? I'll race you, I'm winning, I'm winning. Ah! <laughs> we won't talk about that. Funny, the fuck am I on about? I think I'm losing my mind, ladies and gentlemen. Blue uh, Barber and S, that's over here. Yeah. You're closed, I'll shove my foot. We may go slightly over 40 minutes at this rate. You, son. Hello. Welcome. How would you like your hair today? I'm not here for a haircut. I came to ask about people from China. And you are? I'm Yo Hazuki of the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Hazuki-san? 
Darling, you saw it in the paper on that snowy day. Ah, I understand you've gone through a lot. I'm looking for a Chinese man who goes by the name Lan Di. Tao Sun and the others of the Three Blades said that perhaps you'd know. So, Tao Sun referred you to us. Well, I'm a second generation Chinese, so I don't think I can be of much help. Maybe they meant your father. Oh, I see. He is... My father's 80 years old. He owned a shop in Yokohama from before the war. Maybe he knows. He's been in hospital for the flu and was just discharged yesterday. He's been through a lot, so we've kept it closed for a while. Is he all right? Oh, he's much better now. Perhaps he's exercising in Suzume Park. Suzume Park? He walks once around Obuita and eats at the Soba restaurant every day. Thank you very much. Right, so now to Suzume Park. See, things are slowly getting there. They're slow, they're slow to start, but we're getting somewhere. Suzume Park. Where the fuck's Suzume Park? Mind you, there was a park when I came down. When I came down the steps earlier in this episode. There was a park where children from the play in, which counts as a park, I think. That's the children, is it? There's also a there's a uh, fighting mechanic, so that people fight in this game. Oh, the fighting mechanic. Tom, how's business, sir? Uh, keep going. <laughs> The fighting mechanic in this game. It's um, the same engine from Virtual Fighter, so it's a very, very good fighting mechanic. Right, is this Suzumi Park, and that's the old fucker! Speaking of fighting, do you want someone to spar with, mate? I'll knock your teeth down with. No, no, I'm sorry. Um, are you Dio son? Yes, I am. And you? My name is Dio Hazuki, from the Hazuki Dojo in Yamanose. Ah! I've heard what happened to your father. My condolences. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Chinese man who calls himself Lan Di. Three Blades members like Ajiichi's Tao Sun suggested that perhaps you might know. Ah, you know of the Three Blades. I know it refers to the three professions, barbers, cooks, and tailors. That it does. Did you know that the proud elite of these professions were also imperial bodyguards, protecting emperors from assassinations with their razors, knives, and scissors? About Landy, I gather by his name that he is most likely a member of a Chinese black market cartel. Or perhaps even the Chinese Mafia. Would they be here in Yokosuka? They have developed a base in the harbor to bypass customs and expand their activities. Try asking some of the sailors in the vicinity. They're bound to know more. Sailors? I'll look for some. Thank you very much. Good luck. And that just about ends it right there. Right, I've been the non-professional, this has been Shenmue's full playthrough part one. Uh, so we've got to find sailors now. In the next episode, I'm finding some sailors, which sounds fucking weird. But shit is about to get real, let me assure you. So if you enjoyed this, I'm not going to bother with my outro, because this is, uh, this is this game deserves better. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Uh, leave your comments on this game so far down in the comment section below, because it would be interesting to read them. Um, Yes, <clears throat> so part two, uh, part one, this is obviously been part one, part two will probably be up soon as well, um, and I hope to see you all there.